Uh, Berlanga, we didn't we didn't talk to you about that. Berlanga, prediction for this weekend. Oh, it's a dangerous fight. I know you guys, you know, quite high up American market, don't know too much about Potty McCrory. He's ranked top five with a couple of governing bodies. He can really punch. He's a dangerous guy. Um, it's just, can he stand up to the pressure and the firepower of Edgar Berlanga? Edgar looks in great shape. He needs to make a statement uh, on Saturday night. I think you're going to get a great fight and a brilliant card from top to bottom as well. For sure. Uh, if you know, Obviously, he wins this fight. He wins it in style. There's an opportunity or a hopeful opportunity with Canelo. Let's just say, you know, skip right to it. Canelo, for whatever reason, doesn't pick Edgar as his next opponent. Could we see Edgar in with the other, with the other top 168ers? Yeah, sure. Benavidez, Morel? He has to. You know, all those guys. I mean, I love the Munguia fight, but obviously if Munguia. Canelo fights Munguia, we'll, we'll see. If Canelo doesn't fight Munguia and Edgar wins, that fight must get made ASAP. Look, Benavidez, Morel's a very tough fight. He's a great fighter. Um, Caleb Plant, all of these guys at 168. Edgar can, can compete with all of them. Gotcha. Last question for you. Subriel Matias mm. made his debut today. Uh, we brought You guys brought him out. You know, the crowd loved it. We're here in Orlando, big Puerto Rican fan base. What can we expect for Subriel? And before you answer that, You've got Richardson Hitchens at yeah, match room. Yeah, well, he I, has gone. No, I was just going to say, I know Subriel has his sights set on maybe some uh, but, champions but at 140. Subriel, Go ahead. Uh, Richardson is in a final eliminator. Yep. With Lemos for Subriel Matias. So yep. that is a fight that is inevitable. And that's a tough fight for Subriel. Subriel is a beast. But Richardson's a very good fight with an incredible boxing IQ as well. Let's see if he can come through Lemos. We want to headline Matias in Puerto Rico uh, in June. A uh, good homecoming fight and then moving forward and fight a big, big name at the back end of the year. I think one of the most exciting pound for pound fighters in the world and very honored to get his signature. I'm gonna let you do job, your yeah. job and I'll do mine, but why not Matias in New York, Puerto Rican Day Parade? Because he wants a homecoming. He wants a homecoming. It's very important to him. And I believe he could be the next Tito Trinidad and we want to build him you know, in Puerto Rico and in America as well. Tank versus Frank Martin? Yeah, good. I mean, it's all right. It's an easy fight for Tank, but Frank Martin's a good little fighter. You know, don't think he's gonna do mad numbers, but, um, yeah, it's a good fight. Thank you, Eddie, for See your you, time. Bye.